Okay, here's a watch this video for Wednesday, May 23rd. Um, the SPY, I think the Dow was down like 170, 180 points, something like that today. The SPY kind of gapped up, sold off most of the day. Well, there's the intraday. I mean, it didn't do much. And then near the end of the day, um, I don't know, trade talks with China. So there's all kinds of headline risk every day. But as you know, as a trader, we can look at this and say, you know what, we're still in the range we've been in in the past couple months. You know, we're still kind of hanging out above the eight day, above the 20 day. We're in the upper half of this range so you know things are fine and we can just continue to trade um here's my watch list for wednesday um c drill sdrl has had a huge move and now we've got two red days down into the eight day uh decent potential and these sub dollar ones which i didn't use to trade very much i've been trading them a little bit more lately i have some nice nice action in them so that's what i'm uh it's not the only thing i'm trading obviously but some nice action in them um this one's uh set up for a possible bounce tomorrow so i want to watch that DDE had this huge move back here, and then you got kind of two nasty days uh, down to hit the 20 day today before closing a little bit stronger. I, I want to watch this one for a continuation of the intraday bounce today. TYHT, uh, we had this on watch after, uh, I guess, yesterday, and then we just got one more red day. You kind of have a gap fill now, no trades in it today. Remember, we only trade these with a proper intraday setup, so uh, it just goes on watch. It was on watch today, it goes back on watch tomorrow, we'll see if uh, we get a setup. Um, yeah, you know, I was on the fence about putting this one on watch. CARV made this goofy move from uh, four bucks to almost twelve, and nobody knew why, including the company. Uh, but now we're three days lower on declining volume. We did hit the eight day today. This one actually might give a nice bounce tomorrow. Um, just keep in mind what you're trading, right? Um, FWP, nice breakout today. Uh, strong volume for this stock. Nice breakout at a very tight range. See if it gives any kind of follow through day tomorrow. HTBX. Uh, strong close. We were looking for this flag break right here. I actually called this late in the day. Um, it was flagging like this, and I kept, I, I probably typed it in chat four or five times. I'm watching this flag in HTBX, and I finally typed in that I liked it over 190. It hit 190 several times here and here. Um, and then it was getting late, and I'd had like three hours sleep, and I said, you guys have a good day. Uh, just exhausted, and then it did, and then it did this. <laughs> um, it's actually Trading right now at 2.14 and after hours. It's one of those aggravating things. I mean, I had an, I just looked up my record. I'm 19 and one in my trades for the last three days. Uh, 19 green, I had one loss, and the one loss was 18 bucks. So um, trading's pretty well, and uh, certainly playing defense, but I always get aggravated when all I had to do was kind of hang out another five minutes, and then I could have caught this entry and you know and rode this into the close. So uh, it's just the way it goes. But anyway, I wanna watch it again tomorrow because you had this nice rally here and then a flag and then a nice pop again. So, I mean, it's, it's in no man's land, uh, but that doesn't mean it can't keep climbing. So that's uh, HTBX. CDTI, um, this I think is another stock that nobody knew why it was moving. Um, had a huge move today, but came back and closed probably in the lower half of the range. So I don't love it, but I'm gonna keep it on, on my radar. Dry ships, can you believe that? We almost never say dry ships in here, uh, but dry ships did have a little bit of extra volume today. Um, it's been kind of tagging along underneath four bucks today. Uh, broke through $4, uh, it hit 450 back here, uh, 450 here. So maybe it's gonna run up and test this 450, who knows? Um, go to intraday and you can see the really nice move that caught my attention. No trades in it today, I just happened to notice it, but it closed fairly strong. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna put dry ships on watch for tomorrow. Um, LMFA, another pop that nobody knew where it came from and closed you know, kind of weak in the lower half of its range. Um, but I'm gonna watch. It's a low float stock, nice volume today. Maybe it gets a red to green or something like that tomorrow. Couple more, NFEC. Yeah, there's a big spike back here, a big spike here for a lower high, then another lower high, and you really got kind of a tightening range here, up over 260, then it might rip through this 270, and then it'd maybe get parabolic. It's a fairly low float stock, um, and it's held up really well lately. And then lastly, I have CHKE, um, which had this pop back here, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, that took it to $1.05. And then today went as high as a dollar four um, on nice volume for this stock. I, I would note that that's still only 629,000 shares, so not a heavily traded stock. But I certainly like it over this, you know, over a dollar five. This one might get going. Um, all right, I'm going to leave it at that. We'll also add some gappers in the pre-market. Uh, really, really nice teamwork in the chat room lately, and we'll see you all in chat tomorrow. Have a good night.